Hey everyone, we got the rampaging Tetra Sulfide fight. It's a bit trickier to pull off because we don't have any LB fill unit. But we'll get there. I'll show the team or the gearing after I defeat it in three turns. But last gen is kind of the baddie here. Alright, we'll start off with Melia cover plus electrifying pollen on Yigni for the lightning imbue and lightning uh, amp. We are going to debilitating allure and start Arashi with Ibarra. Yigni is going to Vitality Fountain, Fruits, Gemini Enchantment and Energy Calibration. With his um, Gemini Enchantment, Yigni spreads the um, Lightning imbue to the team, which is super cool. So let's chain these up. Won't chain anyway. Triple chain and quad chain into one. That's not gonna work. Okay, so no LB crystals on our boy Lars Jen. Rather unfortunate. Let me just quickly check something. Um, yeah, alright. So we're gonna double jingle. Uh, Bulwark's theme for the triple cast, and we'll do Fairy Killer. Okay, now let's do Complete and Double Gleaming, hopefully getting a few crystals on last gen. We did not. That is bad. That is like super bad, or mega bad even. Alright, so our boy Fat Chocobo is going to Fairy Killer. Where is it? Moops Medley. Um, and uh, Mascophony, Chocophony. Melia is going to Oak Assault. And we'll hope to get enough LB crystals on last gen. With it. Okay, so let's brave shift and limit. And Arashi four times. And Yigni is going to fart energy calibrations. And let's go. Or not. Um, energy calibration. Let's try that again. There we go. Let's wait for the chain to build. And cap. Oh yeah. That was one strong hit from last gen. Phew. Almost did it in two turns. <laughs> okay, let's shift back last gen. And we'll shift back Fat Chocobo, Triple Jingle, Cactor Cantra for an additional LB fill. And Chocophony twice. Melia is going to Oak Assault. And let's really hope we get enough LB crystals on last gen. I don't think we're gonna need to, but yeah. Uh, so that is QA. So let's do this. Awesome. Okay. We are done. Three turns, all missions. Easy peasy. <coughs> not really, but you get a gist. It's not that hard if your gear is decent. And uh, yeah, let's finish this one out. Energy calibration and debilitating hex. It's W and E. Let's go chain this up and finish this fight. There we go. Boss has 2.1 billion as per usual. Yeah, we're done. So let's check out. Yeah, last gen did all the damage here. Crazy to think. Crazy. Yigni and Ibarra did actually nothing, although they were they had 
like the best gear in all really last gen i mean he does have that buff right so it only made sense to give him the good stuff Alrighty. All missions, we are done here. Now let's check out the gear. So I used Melia for her lightning imbue and lightning amplification, which came from Electrifying Pollen. Did I actually use Electrifying Pollen? Oh, yeah, I did, I did, I did. Uh, <laughs> It's a 20% lightning amplification to both physical and magical. It adds element, the lightning element, etc. And this is the gear. I actually geared her for DPS, uh, but it ended up not mattering much. Uh, yeah, this is the gear, as you can see. She also has um, 150 wind um, resistance. She, took, she, she still took a little bit of damage, but it's negligible, as you've seen. And yeah. Uh, she's using her own vision card. Next up is Ibarra using her own vision card. She is only geared in the base form. I gave her 6x cap with Magister's crown, all the good stuff as you can see, indestructible light. So she doesn't really have much killers, but it ended up not mattering at all whatsoever. So she's at 200 um, fairy killer. She doesn't even have max stats, but she did more damage than Yigni. So I guess that speaks volumes. And yeah, Yigni using uh, Luis's vision card in Brave Shift only. This is the gear. Pretty good, I'd say. A lot of fairy killer. So he was easy to give a fairy killer 300%. And he chained with Ibarra. Our boy Fetch a Kobo in base form LLB fill, which was kind of. Not necessary, but I still get him for or them for LB Phil. Wearing their own vision card. And the Brave Shift is geared for damage. 5k spirit. I, I was hoping that I could do some damage with them in, on turn 3, but I, like as you've seen, I, I ended up not doing it. I gave them 5.5x cap even, such that they can actually deal some damage. Um, ended up not being relevant, but they had 275 uh, fairy killer as well. So... I was hoping for more damage, but it did not matter at all. And here's last gen, base form LB fill as much as possible. Poppy's STMR for the 10% lightning amplification. They had a lightning weapon in base, I forgot about Gemini enchantment, but ended up not mattering at all. Um, other than that, a lot of LB fill rate. So they had 750 LB fill rate. Um, Hindsight 101 uh, could have done more uh, by, say, not using this, but instead going for a dagger. So let's remove this. Let's use a dagger, say, as a Dane's dagger. We are up to 900 now. Could have done this, uh, would have been better probably, alas. Uh, they are also using Sephiroth's vision card. And this is the Brave Shift, which mattered the most. So double uh, Chronicle, uh, Noctis Chronicle, Photon Core, etc. Strong gearing. And yeah, they have 300 Fairy, 300 uh, LB, really good gear. Again, these trials, they are, they are not really meant to be done by weaker teams, especially not in three turns. You don't need all that super hard gear. Uh, although most of this is free, right? Spirit Eater Sense is free, Universe Eater is free, Spirit Killer is free. So it really boils down to whether you have um, Sephiroth's cloak and it's not necessary. We overkilled the boss by so much. So this isn't exactly the strongest type of gearing, to be really honest. I mean, it's the vision card. Sephiroth's vision card is really, really good here. But we do have alternatives, right? If you don't have Sephiroth's vision card, you can use uh, Link's vision card, for example. You could go for a Noctis' vision card as well. It's also very good, or Arden's vision card for that matter. So there are a few options and all of them will lead to you defeat the boss. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the Rampaging Tetrasulfate fight. And now I'll check out the Esper fights if they are worth recording. But thank you all for watching. I hope this was helpful.
See you later.